that's what the 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 general use cases that you could use AI for in the contact center. And if you use a combination of these, depending on your use case, you will be able to scale your contact center. You'll deal with a lot higher call volumes. You'll make your agents far more productive and you'll make your customers far happier. <laughs> What are the main sort of use cases for AI? Not all of the AI solutions that you'll find in the contact center, but the primary AI solutions that you're likely to find in the contact center. The first routing, you call up a contact center and rather than somebody saying press one for this and press two for that, you will just verbalize what it is that you want. The AI then routes the call to the appropriate agent and then the user and the agent can then have that conversation. Another use case is what I call intent to deflect and that's where the customer calls, the AI recognizes what they've said and then using uh, the resources that you already have, the channels that you already have, it will just deflect the user to the appropriate channel. So if you're calling to change your address, you're better off doing that online because we've got an online form that does that and 95% of users that fill it in complete it successfully and so there's the web address, I'm gonna text you a link, go and, and resolve your query there. The next use case is question answer. Now this is where we start getting the AI to do some work for us. It's actually gonna start converting, conversing rather with users and customers. So this is where you would have a knowledge base, could be your content management system, could be your internal knowledge base, any information that you have that would enable the AI to answer questions for people, that's what we're doing here. This also could be a one-way data dip into a system to return some data that's specific to that user. So if someone wants to know what my next credit card balance is, retrieving that information from a line of business system and answering that question is the same kind of thing. It's still question answer. Next, we start moving into an informed handover use case. And what that is, is where the user user or the customer <clears throat> has an issue that really it should be dealt with, with a, by a human. Let's say for example somebody is telling their insurance company about a bereavement or there is someone wanting to report fraud. In those cases what we need to do and what this use case is is, is is the AI is having a conversation with the user, it's saving that information and it's passing that information to the agent. You're not going to action anything, you're just gathering enough details to save the agent time when they finally do connect to the customer. Next is the the, I suppose the, the ideal use case, if, you, if you're talking about the ideal use of AI in a contact center, and that is self-service, all right? That's where the user and the AI are having a conversation. Yes, the AI may pull information from knowledge bases and, and line of business systems or whatever, but it's also integrating into your core business systems, like your CRM, your stock management system, whatever, whatever solutions and systems you have that underpin your business, it's doing two-way integrations into there. So like the question answer, you might be returning information from a system, this self-service example, you're integrating, pushing and pulling to and from the, your business systems. And essentially what you're doing is you're taking your self-service journeys and you're turning them into a conversation so that the user can get their issues resolved from end to end just by speaking to the AI. There's also use cases, as I'm sure you know, for agents on the back end as well of the phone call. So one use case is, is agent productivity. Helping the agent after the phone call to summarize the call and to do things like disposition codes. It can streamline all of that post-call wrap up. The next use case after that is similar in terms of it happens after the call, but it's conversation analysis. And we can look at things like contact drivers, quality assurance, sentiment, behavior. So what, what is the agent behavior? Can we learn from some of our agents that are performing really, really well, why they're performing really, really well to then feed into being able to train our other agents that perhaps aren't performing quite so well with some best practice that we're learning from other agents. Can you find trends that are happening within your customer base to be able to improve your business? And next, can you do things like predicting CSAT, predicting NPS? There's a whole load of markers that will give you an indication about whether your customer is uh, satisfied or not, especially in the chat channel. Type in the, the letters C above in your chat bot or a question mark. Those kind of things are always detractors and so we can use AI to pick up on some of that stuff. And the final thing then is agent assist and this is where the AI again, similar to the self-service use case, this is where the AI is really performing at its absolute best. So you've got your customer calling your agent. Your agent has an AI behind the scenes that's having a two-way dialogue with your agent that audio or the text from your customer is being fed to it as well. So the AI is aware of the whole call. It knows what the agent's saying, it knows what the customer's saying, it can do things like uh, understand intent, answer questions, generate responses to give to the agent and say, look, we think the customer's talking about this, they've asked this question, you might want to respond like this. An agent can just send that response or the agent can re kind of type that response, edit it a little bit, then send it off. Translation between languages, huge use case, use case. Bosch in Europe have been doing this and trialing this for, for quite a while now. Next best actions, is fairly straightforward. You've got a process, you've got a step process that people need to go through. Can we use the AI to generate those next best actions? Yes, we can. And also, if you do this right, 
then the agent assist should be fulfilling transactions. You shouldn't need your agents to go from one system to another system, copying and pasting data and then enacting something from within your systems. You can consolidate all of your systems into a chat interface or a voice interface to make your agents' lives easier and have them fulfill transactions through the AI as they would do or as the customer would do. That's what the 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 general use cases that you could use AI for in the contact center. And if you use a combination of these, depending on your use case, you will be able to scale your contact center. You'll deal with a lot higher call volumes. You'll make your agents far more productive and you'll make your customers far happier. Mm -hmm.